God loves you. He will never stop loving you. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your b -b 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 boy. Do, do, do the drum. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit that sub button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell to let you know when I post another video for you guys. And hit that like button. And if you like video game content, check out my video game channel, Do the John Gaming. Link is down below in the description. Let's get into the video, shall we? Yo, this is what I wish I would have told her. A spoken word poetry by Clayton Jennings. His work is always great. I don't expect this to be any less. And I am like 99% sure I heard it before this, so this isn't the first time I'm reacting to it. My first time hearing it, the first time reacting to it and giving my thoughts. Let's get into it, shall we? Brown hair, blue eyes, and she said she wasn't pretty. She started to cry that day when she sat down with me. She said my speech had spoken to her that day in class. I wouldn't have known, I would have walked right past. My mind was on the next class in my half-written paper. But all that faded when she said her dad had raped her. I guess she trusted me, or maybe it just came out. What I expected for the day didn't take the same route. I went a little numb, my heart beat a little faster. Here was a beautiful girl who had only known disaster. We talked that day until the classroom went empty. She didn't want my help. She wasn't looking for my sympathy. Maybe she just wanted a stranger to feel her pain, to listen to her story and remember her name. You see, suicidal thoughts, eating disorders, and a broken heart. A lack of love in her life had torn her apart. She told me to keep spreading love and that she loved my speech. She walked away that day, suddenly out of reach. You're beautiful. You can talk to me in class that day. I didn't get a chance to tell you that before you walked away. I know you hate mirrors because you don't like what you see. Memories from the past have kept you from being free. But you're beautiful, you're strong, and you're loved by a billion loving people and the God above. Yep. I'm sorry about what happened to you, and I wish it weren't true. But what I do know is there's a billion people just like you. Millions of people damaged by others. Scared and alone like kids under covers. Fat people, skinny people, short people, tall people, white people, black people, brown people, all people. Just people, hurt by other people. Just people, the strong and the feeble. You're beautiful even though your lives haven't been. You're beautiful even in this world of sin. You might be harmed by men, but you're loved by him. Broken homes and ruined lives, but you're still beautiful in God's eyes. So you're not alone in your pain, you're not alone in this life. You were saved by grace, you're loved by Christ. That hit me in some levels that I'm not willing to talk about. Um, but to anybody who ever been molested, raped, treated like shit, bullied, treated badly, abused, whatever it may be, it's just no. That you are loved. And no matter. What anybody tells you. No matter. If people down, put you down. And tell you utter, some other lies. God loves you. He will never stop loving you. And he'll always be there for you. You need someone to talk to. Reach out. If you can't talk to your friends, reach out to a stranger. If that doesn't feel comfortable enough, which I don't see where the world is these days, it'd be kind of hard to. Reach out to a pa local pastor or a counselor or a family if you can. 
you can reach out to me. My email link, my email is in the description if you need to talk to somebody. Yeah, it may say for businesses or whatnot. You can, if you need someone to talk to, just email me. And I'll get to it as soon as I can. And once I see it, I'll be checking it more often. Just know this. You're not alone. You're not ugly. You're not stupid. You are smart. You are beautiful. And you are loved. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, you are loved.